Hey everyone, it's time for an update. Bring you into my world, keep you in the loop, let you know what's happening in the Strataverse. Well, first of all, I am still thrilled and honored that my children's book, Wild Outside, won a national children's nonfiction award, children's choice award at that too. So I'm just thrilled about that. And more on this in just a moment when I tell you where I'm going to be October 1st. Uh, it's for ages five to 12, by the way, this particular book. So if you haven't gotten it yet for your kids, or your friends' kids, or your relatives' kids. There it is, you gotta pick that up. Uh, what else is happening? Well, actually I'm all set up here right now. There's a camera back there, there's a screen up there. I'm going to produce a brand new director's commentary for you. I'm gonna keep those coming. The idea here for this YouTube channel is that I release something to you every Friday and Saturday. It's a lot of work to do that, but it's not that I don't love the work, I do actually, but it's a lot of effort. So. I'm going to try to have it where you get maybe one of my Q&A sessions one Friday, the next Friday a director's commentary, the next Friday, check this out, I've got Luke and Chris, editors, working on, the, on this content that we found which is the original training content of me being filmed training to go into the jungle or the desert when I was first filming Survivor Man. See, originally we, fi we filmed all of that. I spent a week training in survival in these areas so that I would know the plants and the shelter types and the fire starting methods and so on, but we never used it in the show. So I said, we gotta have that stuff, let's find it. Did we digitize it? Is it sitting on some old dusty tapes? Have we lost it? Well, we're starting to find it. We found the first one recently and we're working on it right now. It's actually me learning in the Arizona desert uh, with David Halliday. So it's him teaching me certain survival tricks, methods, and techniques for surviving the desert, which you then watched me do one week later when I filmed that show, Survivor Man Arizona. Okay, let's do a quick recap of what you get content-wise for YouTube. Every Friday, you should get either a Q&A, a director's commentary, Survivor Man training videos of this lost archive footage, or other journeys and adventures that I go on. And every Saturday will be a collection of other material that I work with. So, so for example, uh, material from other people, such as Bushman Bob series. We're rejigging the Bushman Bob videos, putting them all together, and we're gonna relaunch all of those for you. Then there's the Sasquatch Chronicles. All the foraging tips and cooking tips from Wild Harvest come out on Saturday. So Fridays and Saturdays every week, hopefully you get content on this YouTube channel from me, fresh and new. And I'll get to the new big production stuff that goes on television and the rest of it in just a minute. So what else have I got here? Well, I guess right to it then. Wild Harvest Season 2 is out now. It's on a PBS station near you. It's in, uh, in Canada on Cottage Life Television. And we're hoping that National Geographic, which picked up Season 1 for the rest of the world, or at least all of Asia, will pick up Season 2 as well. It's kicking ass. It's doing great. We, I just love this show. I was about to say we love this show. Chef Paul Rogalski and I. It's, it's, it's some of the most beautiful production I think I've ever been involved in. Uh, I enjoy it. Uh, it's deep and refreshing and intriguing and compelling just as I felt the series Beyond Survival was, uh, which if you haven't watched that, go check it out on the playlist. Remember that everybody on YouTube, everything is on the playlists. So go to the playlist then scroll over, push in that arrow button and oh, director's commentaries. Oh, Survivor Man Bigfoot. And you can watch that playlist with everything in it. Okay, so Wild Harvest Season 2 is out now. Season 3, yes, we're working on getting that happening right at the moment. Uh, to take you behind the scenes a bit, listen, a new season of any show, I don't care if it's Seinfeld uh, or Parks and Rec or Wild Harvest, it's always a renegotiation and a, and a revamping and a regrouping behind the scenes of the business side of it. And that's what we're doing right now, trying to get Season 3 to happen so that we can bring it to you because man I love producing that series. At the same time I'm also constantly pitching the networks with new pitches. I've got uh, a couple of big series uh, that I've developed what we would call a pitch deck for or a sizzle reel for that I'm putting into the networks. Uh, yes, uh, New Survivor Man is part of that. Yes, New Bigfoot could be part of that. Yes, other new initiatives could be part of that. All it takes is one network to say yes and uh, we're off to the races with a whole new series for you. October 1st, it's not etched in stone as of this recording right now. I'm waiting to hear an email back. I might even get that back within the next hour. But right now, I'm planning on being down in. Put this in your calendar. If you're close, come on out and see me. 
Saginaw, I guess that's Michigan, because it's an hour and a half north of Detroit, at the Court Street Theater. We're hoping that I will have a gig there. Uh, October 1st, this will be stories and songs. This will be an evening of me playing my music, talking about Survivor Man, answering your questions, having a blast. Hopefully that will happen. Hopefully the Court Street Theater is available. If not, watch the Court Street Theater in Saginaw, Michigan, because we're just working on the date to make it happen there. And right before that, the um, Midland Grace A. Dow Memorial Library has said yes to having me there for the kids. This isn't for you adults. I mean, you can come along so long as you're bringing your kids with you. This is for the kids. I'm going to go to that library uh, before the concert at the Court Street Theater, so probably the day before, to meet your kids, to read stories from my Wild Outside book, and uh, generally do a meet and greet and hang out. Uh, I mean, I don't know if there's anything better or cooler we can do for kids than to get them connected to nature, just as I've always been trying to do with you guys all these years. That's what this is all about. Never mind everything else going on around being Survivor Man and all the stuff that happens in the business world and this and that. In the end, I just want you connected to nature. There's my update. Uh, I'll tell you what. Luke, take him out. Show him my stuff. See everybody. I don't really like hawking merchandise and swag, but you guys do ask all the time where you can get certain items. For example, check this out. Hennessy Hammock. I put a lot of time and effort into designing this hammock with Hennessy. It's their top hammock. It's an amazing, beautiful, comfortable hammock to enjoy for all of your adventures out there. So just check it out. It's got a full size tarp, which is a big thing for me. It's got insulation and I love it. So I've got the Hennessy hammocks. Of course, for years I've been in a phenomenal relationship with Hella of Norway, Hella Knives. And this is our signature knife, of course, the Tamagami. These knives are handmade. In fact, I've been there to this very ancient factory where I don't know how long, how many, it's well over 100 years that they've been operating and every single handle is handmade. All of the grinding, everything is done by hand. And these knives are absolutely beautiful. I also now have a brand new relationship and you will see these items, new forging tools that I'm designing with LT Wright knives out of Ohio. And also, Chef Paul Rogalski of Wild Harvest uh, has the signature Chef Paul Rogalski kitchen knife collection. Those are a big thrill to me to have these beautiful items that we spent years designing and I still have them available for you. However, if you wanna go more the route of just enjoying the Survivor Man legacy, if you will, then of course, go to my website, lestow.ca, go to the shop page, right there you've got everything. All the swag, all the merch, such as my manual on survival. This is if you want to get into survival, this book is meant to be a way to walk you through step by step because I deal a lot more with concepts than I do with specifics because that's really important. Once you understand the concepts of fire by friction, uh, for example, you can do it depending on where you are because I can't give you the, the advice on how to do it here in Canada and hope that it's also gonna work down in the jungle. Things are different. So I've always been very proud of this book, Survive. So that is my survival manual. Also, if you weren't aware, I've got the book, Will to Live. I wrote this book to, well, it's kind of for a lot of fun. I took my 10 favorite survival stories, such as Chris McCandles Into the Wild or the Robertson family and the life raft, and I basically dissect them with this book. I, I, I tear apart the story, I go through everything, and I even give them a little bit of a grade on, and, on how I thought they did. So I really enjoyed writing this book. It's, it's a real easy read, it's a fast read, but I think there's a lot of insight there for you into all of these different examples of people who have either survived or perished. Speaking of books, so honored, so thrilled, so proud that Wild Outside, my first children's book, has won the Yellow Cedar Award, best nonfiction children's book in Canada for ages seven to 14. I tell stories from Survivor Man, lessons learned during those uh, expeditions and adventures, and there are even activities they can do in the out of doors. So there you go. My new book, my children's book, Wild Outside, Around the World with Survivor Man, has just won the Yellow Seed Award, and I'm up for another award yet. And in keeping with stuff that's going on right now, we are also up for an award for our season one recipe book from the series Wild Harvest. And if you've never caught the series Wild Harvest, check this out. Beautiful little rainbow. Dinner. 
This perhaps is the most incredible kitchen scenario I've ever had. When you start getting involved in local foraging and bringing the ingredients home and playing with them in the kitchen, can you create a dish where the domestic ingredients don't overshadow the wild ingredients? Cut! Hey there! Oh! Go on! Now the job's getting fun. This dish is a showcase of how great these forged ingredients come together. It's the best when it's its own flavor. When you're making something with a wild edible, you're nailing it and not losing the wild flavor. Sometimes it is about the ingredients. Tell me that doesn't look awesome. Two seasons right now, 26 episodes. In the United States, it's on PBS stations. You can also get it on this YouTube channel. In Canada, Cottage Life TV. In Sweden and uh, Norway on Matt Canelan. It's on National Geographic. Asia, which includes China and India. So my Wild Harvest series is playing around the world now. And we, with every single season, create a recipe book based on the recipes that we show you in the actual shows themselves. So that's Wild Harvest. And of course, if you want the DVD, you can get that on this website as well, lessjob.ca. And let's not forget too, that I'm a musician. The CDs themselves are available on the website. The next release will be the re-release of the Mother Earth album on vinyl. But Go on Spotify, Apple Music, wherever you listen to music, or on my website, you can go to the shop page, you can pick up all of my CDs. So this is the last one. This is my 20th anniversary selection. Check it out. Every film I've ever made, 76 films in all, all of the Survivor Man, Bigfoot, Beyond Survival, music documentaries, one-off films such as the award-winning Lalash about the school shooting up in Canada and a healing canoe trip. This is my 20th anniversary, uh, 76 films. And people that have picked this up have raved about it. And I'm really proud that I can say I've got 20 years of anything, to be honest with you. That's available for you as well on that Les Stroud shop page. Okay, that's me hawking my stuff. Back to the video.